Hey folks, Marty Nowicki from Impact Snap. Today's video, is my backswing too short or is it too long? And what can I do if I suffer from one or the other? I feel like my backswing is too short. Here are a few things that we must do. And I teach a lot of senior golfers that, geez, they feel they're not flexible enough or they're getting older and their ju body just doesn't move the way it's supposed to. Here are a couple key things that you need to do to lengthen your backswing. Number one, take the golf club in your trail hand, hook it behind your lead knee. Now this is gonna be important because we need the knees and the pelvis to be able to turn. What's important about that is when the knees and pelvis turn, we want to make sure that your axis, your spine, basically stays in the, in the same place. Meaning, I don't want to see your spine move way off to the right. We call that a flexed forward spine. We actually want you to sense that the spine goes a little more into extension. A nice image would be if I had a high bar right next to me and I wanted to uh, take my spine right over the high bar. What that does is that gets your spine moving into extension. That then increases your range of motion. So we need the knees and the pelvis to turn and I want you to sense that your spine is actually tilting slightly toward the target. Okay. A lot of people might say, hey, that's a reverse pivot or whatnot. I can assure you the pressure is building up under my trail foot because my lead heel is quite a bit off the ground. That's going to allow the, the pelvis and the clavicles, or in turn your shoulders, to be able to move all the way to a full 90 degrees. So we've got to make sure that the knees pivot, that helps the pelvis to pivot, that allows my spine to make a bigger turn, which gets my clavicles to really turn back to 90 degrees. It'll look something like this. If the heel comes off the ground, great let it. If you ha suffer from too short of a backswing, that would be a great drill. Left heel up, right heel up. Left heel up, right heel up. Happens to be a sunny day in upstate New York, and when I say upstate, we are really upstate up in Lake Placid today. Turn around, find your shadow, and really get a sense of how well or how much is your shadow moving from one side to another. If I laid a stick on the ground and I took a golf swing, so if I laid a stick on the ground and I took a golf swing, I just want to make sure that my shadow is not moving off of the stick. I want to make sure it's staying right on the stick the whole time. Again, allow your knees and your pelvis and your clavicles or your spine the freedom to really move. If you feel that your golf swing, backswing is too loose, too long, what have you, here are a couple of things that I would suggest for you. I want you to sense that there's some pressure on the inside part of your thighs. I want you to sense that you stretch your arms back a little more without your knees really moving all that much. Once the club gets to about waist high, now you can turn your pelvis a little bit and that'll restrict how far back your backswing gets. So if you have too short of a swing, we want you to free up your knees and your pelvis. If you feel like you have too loose or too long of a swing, let's firm up the inside part of your thighs and sense a little more stretching before the knees move. That will restrict that backswing. Another simple thing to do, take your glove, put it under your lead arm, get a good squeeze of that armpit Note it's not the elbow squeezing against the body, it's just the armpit that's squeezing. You can take a T or something and stick it under there and that'll also restrict the length of your backswing. Whether you have too long or too short of a backswing, that's up for you to decide or your instructor to decide. Those are a couple ideas that will help you get the backswing that you're looking for. So how do I know if I have too long or too short of a, of a backswing? Normally we call this line about parallel to the ground. 
if your golf club is beyond parallel to the ground, that might be too long. Although, look, John Daly won the 91 PGA and the 95 British Open with a backswing that went down to here. Old time golfers back at the turn of the last century, they had all had very long loopy swings. I would say too short of a backswing. We would like to see the left arm get at least parallel to the ground. Ideally, if it went a little bit higher, that gets the club closer to parallel to the ground. So this would be a couple checkpoints when you videotape your own swing to know, do you have too long or too short of a backswing? Hit the subscribe button down below and then click the bell notification. You'll get notices each time we make more content. Please leave your comments down below. That helps us to create more content for you. For Impact Snap, I'm Marty Nowicki. Thank you for watching.